Thanks for stopping by to Like a Hawk. This is Just the Hits, my weekly recap of the channel hits from last week. And today I'm actually going to start it off with a Hit It Forward, which is a free giveaway if I hit something nice. And I'm going to show off what I hit in order to do this, but let's just get right to it. Here are all the people that entered the Hit It Forward. So I appreciate that. And we're going to random this eight times, and whoever's at the top is going to be the winner. So good luck, everybody. While I do this, I appreciate everybody's comments. Everybody had um, some great rookies that they were interested in seeing or that they had interest in, and it spanned all sports. So it was very cool to hear who you liked in there. Um, I would, I think... Pete Alonzo was probably number one, um, but really there was nobody that dominated it, um, probably more than, than 50, so I, or more than 50%, so I appreciate that. So that's seven. Whoever's on top right here is going to be the winner, so good luck, everybody. So Landon Birch, who won the buried treasure, wins the hit it forward. So Landon, tell me... Um, which card you want in the hit it forward list and I will send that out to you along with the buried treasure when I reveal that later in the month. If you did not win, do not give up. I have another hit it forward going on now. You're going to want to find the 2019 Panini Black that I did on Monday and there is a hit it forward for that. So if you didn't win this, you immediately get to go right in and try again. Um, and so congratulations Landon. Um, on the just the hits, so these are your hits, the sub hits throughout last week. Let me just go through these. So Adam R. bought a hobby box of 2018 WWE Women's Division and pulled an Ember Moon Rookie Auto numbered out, out of 4 out of 5. That is awesome. Uh, Jason Aaron Goldberg did some hits from a birthday ripping live show. Um, he pulled a Snell numbered auto out of a National Baseball Card Day pack, uh, quote unquote less pack mojo a judge 87 rookie card and eloy bowman chrome among others i'd invite you to check out that video on jason's channel uh it cometh an egg said he attended a tool listening party slash haunted house this past weekend and pulled a hacksaw jim duggan auto from 2007 tops heritage card looks great i go ahead and check out it cometh an eggs uh we have brandon keith opened six packs of archives and hit two autos, which is amazing because that box holds two autos. So six packs, two autos. He pulled a case hit of Jose Altuve, which is the Topps mag. And also the other was a Larry Durker auto, um, manager, I believe, for the Astros. The Altuve is numbered out of 17. So far, he's opened three boxes of archives and he got two case hits. So that is incredible. Lance Graham uh, got a blaster 2019 SummerSlam, hit a night out of 99 SummerSlam patch logo of Edge. Also got some bronze cards of Alexa Bliss and Manny Rose that he needed, so congratulations. 25, 25 Perez went to an NXT show and was able to get some selfies along with these two Roderick Strong pictures right there. He got those autographed. That is awesome. I would love to be able to do that. Uh, so 25 Perez, congratulations to you. And then we had one more uh, hit this week. So Frank decided to, Frank Eddie the Third decided to buy uh, 2018 Donners football and got a Jonathan Ogden 6 out of 11. It's a gorgeous card. There's the Jonathan Ogden 6 out of 10. And the nice thing is it's, it's purple around the border. And because it goes great with the purple of the Ravens uniforms. And then Frank came back later in the week and got a SummerSlam Blaster and a Fairfield Blaster. In the Fairfield Blaster, actually got a Pedroia Game Used Memorabilia card out of 2015 Ginter. So that was pretty cool. And then it looks like uh, in the SummerSlam, got a Kyle O'Reilly hit right there. So congratulations to all of you. That's awesome. We had seven people this week with hits. If you want me to t give you a shout out in next week's Just the Hits, then go ahead and just put it in a comment throughout um, throughout the week. So, And also a reminder before I get to my hits, um, there is a W, or not a WWE, there is a Like a Hawk 
pay-per-view coming up on Thursday, so you're going to want to get in your number 1 through 24 in last week's wrestling video. So only two stuff this week. I started off showing um, a set that I got from being a member of the Montgomery Club, which was you buy in early in the year and then Tops periodically sends you sets throughout the throughout the year and I got one more of these sets and this set actually came with an auto so here are this is what the base card looks like it's a kind of cool design uh, and it is that cardboard feel so I like that this is the 582 Montgomery Club so that's what the back of that looks like Eloy Pete Alonzo Mike Trout Vlad Guerrero Yelich and the reason why I did a hit it forward is because of the auto I hit. And the auto was of Fernando Tatis Jr. And I didn't recognize this. And shout out to, I think it was Jason Goldberg that pointed this out. Fernando Tatis signs it backwards, so he signs Tatis Fernando. I never noticed that before. Well, because I haven't pulled any of his. Um, but that is kind of cool. So that is the reason why I did the hit it forward for today. Again, Landon was lucky enough to be the winner of that. But again, I have another one going on with the Panini Black. So go ahead and check that out to be entered in that contest. And then on Wednesday, I just did a recap of things that I got at the StarCast, which is a wrestling convention. Did two meet and greets. So the first meet and greet I did with Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus. And Luchasaurus had a huge pop at All Out. So there's Luchasaurus's auto right there at the top and then there's jungle boys right there very nice guys wish them all the luck in aew and then i went to a meet and greet with the voices of wrestling for my generation which was jr and the king right there um it was you know you got jr in the aew blazer right there and king signed it king look at that auto by king signs it king jerry lawler WWE Hall of Fame 07, and then we have the Jim Ross. Very excited to meet them. It was great to be able to just thank them, and they were very appreciative. They joked around. Um, very fun to talk to for the uh, brief minute, brief couple minutes that I was able to to do that. Got some pictures of myself with both of these, uh, with both of the the superstars, and that was cool. So then I went to the collectors' corner, which was a part of the convention where you got to go down and buy goods and meet other wrestlers, uh, get autographs. Went over to Pro Wrestling Loot, got this Omega pin for five bucks. I couldn't pass that up for five bucks. Uh, got some card sets I'm going to show off uh, later on in different weeks. Picked up both of these for wrestling. And then there was a new series of independent wrestlers from Four Corner Cards. And... I'm going to do these, you know, one video each month we're going to do, or not once each month, but each week we're going to do a one. I don't know if I'll spread them out, but there's the, the June 2019, there is the July 2019, and the August 2019 uh, from Four Corners Cards. And these are people that are independent wrestlers. What I'm going to try to do is go through and try to figure to see some of their matches and see which ones I like, and maybe put a link to some of their matches in the description of that video to try to give them more support because I thought that was kind of cool. And then on Saturday, I went to All Out, was able to buy a ticket in a suite uh, courtesy of Josh and Xander. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for allowing me to do that. Very nice uh, guys. We exchanged a lot of wrestling stories. Xander, good luck with Tyson's punch out, but this is the All Out shirt that I bought there. That's the front. Nice to get a non-black wrestling t-shirt and then on the back it says I was there all out glad Jericho found his belt and uh, exciting match I again that ladder match thank God everybody was uh, healthy after that match I, that was the like I kept saying it was the first match that I seen in real life that I was worried for the safety of the wrestlers they just did some incredible spots um, it's along with that cracker barrel match those were two that just had incredible spots so invite you to check those out and then i was also there to see the first ever aew champion crown so that was awesome so thank you so much for that and that's going to do it for just the hits it was a very short week 
Uh, again, if you want me to tell, tell me about your hits in the comments, I'll tell everybody about the next Just the Hits video. Appreciate you checking out this video. Like, subscribe, and I hope you have a lot of luck in your next break. And thanks for watching. Like a hawk.